Welcome to another Graphite Studio tutorial. In this video, we'll go over installing SQL Server Express and creating a database using Graphite Studio. First, let's download and install SQL Server Express. Type in Download SQL Server Express in your search bar. And go to the SQL Server Express page on Microsoft.com. Scroll down to the download section and click download now. Run the installer. Choose custom install and click install. Click through the setup. On the database engine configuration section, select the mix mode option and enter in a password. Accept all the terms and click install. When the installation is complete, the next step will be to install SQL Server Management Studio. Click the link and it will take you to the download page. Click Download SQL Server Management Studio and when it finishes, run the installer. Once SQL Server Express and SSMS have been installed, setting up a SQL Server database in a Graphite Studio project is very easy. In the Graphite Studio project, use the sidebar to navigate to the Environment Settings screen. From here, you can add an environment that provides the information where the web application will be deployed and where the database will be created. Click the Add Environment link to open the Add Environment dialog box. Give the environment the name Sample Deployment. and use local because we want to create the web application and the database on the machine we're using. For database authentication, I'm going to choose SQL Server Authentication. For the database name, enter in Calculate DB. Since we chose SQL Server Authentication, I'm going to give the database the username SA and set a password. For the database server name, we have to find the instance of SQL Server Express that's running on the machine. Let's switch over to SQL Server Management Studio and find out the name of the SQL Server instance. In SQL Server Management Studio, the name of the instance of your SQL Server is displayed here. I'm going to copy this. If you're already connected to the database server, you'll find the name at the top here. Now let's go back into Graphite and replace the name of the SQL Server in the environment settings. Since I copied the SQL Server instance name, I'll paste it here. For the web server, enter in localhost. And give the website a name so when you go into the IS manager, you'll see where this website is deployed. Let's call it local.sample-calculator.com. I'm going to make this deployment default and make it public. Now I'll click OK and go to the build screen. Once the project has been built, creating the database is simple. From the sidebar, click Settings. Go to the Database tab, and here you can regenerate the database. Click Update and the database will be created. Now that it's created, let's confirm the database is displaying in SQL Server Management Studio. And there it is. That's it. Thanks for watching.